and you are going to see a new eyeshadow that I got that I really, really like. It's got some really awesome colors. And then you're going to go on a couple of little adventures that I did on my birthday. So if you're interested in seeing all of that, plus some random things, stay tuned. So how does, how does that song go, honey? When I'm 64, so today's February 14th, and um, I'm 64. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. Come on, it's nice out. Let's go. We're going to the beach. Let's go. Ooh, I think we're going. Where are we going? Let's go. We're going to the beach, I think. We'll see. For my birthday treat. So we're off to the beach on my birthday. I, is that where we're going? We never really decided, or are you just surprising me wherever the car will bring us? Got it on cruise control, so. He's got the car on cruise control, so we have no idea. Is it a self-driving car? It is. The car has a mind of its own? It does. It's your car, that's why. It's my car. Can you smell the beach? It is low tide. I'm going to turn the camera around in a minute and show you what it looks like low tide. It's a beautiful day. It's amazing. You can't smell anything? No, you must be all stuffed up. You are all stuffed up. It's really, it smells really nice. Well, salty. <laughs> salty, but nice. Happy birthday. Thank you, honey. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you again, honey. And thank you for my birthday present. Yeah. Guess what he got me? Apple earbuds. I don't have them, but they're little, little white little AirPods are they called? Yeah. They're called AirPods and they run off of Bluetooth so there's no cord connecting you, which I think is kind of cool, I think. So I'm gonna turn the camera around. That, w that way, while you're making dinner for me, you can have your computer in the living room and then you can be working in the kitchen, barefoot. Uh, I was oh, <laughs> in the kitchen barefoot, huh? I was thinking more like the other way around. So I can to, stay so connected while, huh? You let me borrow them while I cook dinner? Oh, I was thinking like when I walk or, huh? you oh. know, or something of that nature, I thought they'd be really cool. But yeah, I'll let you borrow them. I, I'm think, gonna... you, I think you'll like them. I think I'm going to end up having to get a pair. Really? So I'm going to flip the camera around so you guys can see what we're looking at here. This is really getting me into the spring, you know, the spring. And... Camping and just being at the beach. Here comes the man. Here I be. Here he be. In the frame. I think. I don't even have it on. I'm videoing, aren't I? Sorry. <laughs> oh well. I'm a gooba. We go anywhere for the shot. You should have seen us climbing through the through the woods over there. It was like unbelievable. Well not the woods. It's like the um, I don't know, the seaweed, the the whatever. But Oh, it's so pretty here. One year we came here and there was a guy sitting in one of the benches and he was playing a guitar and singing. He had an amazing voice. His voice was like so soothing. I, I, I got a video clip of him somewhere. I just don't know if I'll ever find it. But his voice was so amazingly soothing. It kind of reminded me of Gail from Random Life Productions when she sang that birthday song. That's where I walked from, all the way along the rocks here. And there's a monument. I can't remember, was it John Smith, this monument? Uh, something to do with the settlement. I do think it was John Smith, but it's been a while since I've been here, so let's see if my 64-year-old brain remembers who this monument was all about or what it was all about. Oh, look at that. 1614. Map from Captain John Smith's 1614 expedition. See, I remembered that. I'm really proud of myself for remembering that. John Smith, 1580 to 1631. J-Pick Petey's. He really likes Petey's, right, honey? That's all right. I thought it was um, just okay, but you know what? It's like a, um, 
it's sort of an icon on the coast, and I have said for years, it's one of those overrated tourist traps, but it's full of locals. So how does that figure, tourist traps? It doesn't, not when it's full of locals. So that's what we did, and uh, it was okay, but it was expensive. But like Jay said, it's my birthday, so I'm turning just so you can kind of see a little bit behind me. We are up at, I can never pronounce this park right, Odeon Point in uh, Rye. And wow, it's just like, this, is, this place is a really popular park in the summertime. You can, you know, you can uh, walk through the park. It's a very historic park and all that. Jay and I've ridden our bikes up here from Salisbury before, all the way to Portsmouth which is kind of really wild. That's when we were in better shape. I don't think we could ride our bikes all the way up here now, could we? No, I'm gonna make it a, a point this season to really start working with the bike. Oh, did you hear that? No. He's, <laughs> I'm, I'm saying this is a historical. He is going to make it a point to start working with his bike. So he's gonna, he's gonna get back in shape because he's going to be 64 this year, too. I'm older than him. <laughs> I'm older than you. <laughs> he's taking our picture. <laughs> he's practicing. So, yeah. It's kind of really cool here, huh? There he is, the photo, the photographer. <laughs> My God, what horrible news to have woken up to. Actually, we heard a little bit of it last night coming home from my birthday. We went to the beach. You know, to think of somebody that young, especially after I did my Dear Diary video, to think of somebody that young <sighs> feeling that way and doing it, there are no words. There are no, no words. My, my heart breaks for everyone involved, everyone involved, and what a sad day in America. You know, America's crying today. We've had too many moments where America cries. I don't know. How sad. So I am heading to my Exeter office and I am going to then go to the um, Board of Realtors office where I'm going to be actually doing a, a presentation on um, social media best practices, you know, and how social media, your digital footprint can stay with you forever, you know, and as soon as anything happens like this shooting in Florida, you know, obviously people immediately turn to social media. So anyways, that's my day. And if I'm lucky, I'm going to meet up with my sister later tonight. If I'm lucky, I don't know. She's going to bring her husband somewhere and then she may be able to meet up with me. We'll see. And if so, maybe I'll get her on camera. Oh, she's shy. Hey guys, it's Saturday. Oh, I'm trying to move so the shadows are not in my face from the, uh, my sun window. The window uh, in the front is... <laughs> it's not working too good. But anyways, Jay and I are off to London Dairy where we're going to teach class 9 and 10, which is what we call the weekend review of the pre-licensing, the 40-hour pre-licensing class. And it's going to be a long day. We'll probably go to dinner afterwards. We normally do because we're both too exhausted to cook anything and all that. So I don't know where we'll go, but I have a... a a thought in mind, so we'll see. Yeah, so it's ha it's a weekend, but I'm only gonna have one day off. Oh no, I'm gonna have two because Monday's a holiday. Yeah, I have Monday off. I forgot about that. Now I'm super excited. Yeah, I really am. So now where are we off to? The moon. It's not a full moon tonight. No, I know. Where are we off to? Kelly's. In Eppen. Eppen. Yeah, so you know that the one of the pleasures about getting a birthday and getting old is that you kind of get all these coupon offers and Telly's is like a local um, pub type thing and it's, you know, I, I guess I must have registered at one point, but every year I get a coupon for my birthday 
and we often don't use it. But this year, it's one entree, one free entree. Is that Entre what you call it? Entree. Entree. So we're going to Telly's to take advantage of my birthday. Entrees. Entrees. And we had snow today. Man, I haven't seen a lot of vehicles out today. I'm just a lot of the places when I went to the shop, the post office, the whole complex was all there was nobody there. Really? Maybe everybody was shoveling all the snow out. They're well, probably home. Yeah, I did. Videos. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to. I didn't want to put a sweater on to go out. I was shooting videos today. I actually shot a couple of them. One I had to repeat because I realized that, you know, when you don't have your microphone plugged all the way in. It's like, it just mutes the sound completely. It's not like you can still get some sound, just not the microphone. It's like, no sound. You figured that out, eh? Uh-huh. I was going to do just a voiceover, but, yeah, it uh, wouldn't have been the same. So maybe I'll take some pictures of my meal, and I'll add this to my blog. And, you know, share another exciting episode in our kind of boring life. <laughs> oh, well. Hey, I'm just waiting for warm weather. Do you think it's ever going to come? Yeah, Wednesday's supposed to be 70, Tuesday 60. And in a couple of weeks, we're going to be in warm weather, I hope. Is it warm in Texas right now? I hope so. It better be. <laughs> Bye, guys. Hey, guys, it's Thursday the 22nd. I can't believe this whole week has just gone by so quick. Yesterday, Wednesday, it was almost 70 degrees out. Jay had all the windows open when I came home. It was unbelievable. I wanted to take a walk at the rail trail at the office, but I just couldn't get out to do it. But I came home a little early, did some work from home and just enjoyed it. So that was pretty cool. And today, now I'm leaving really bright and early. I'm going to head to Manchester and I have to, this is a class I'm actually taking, not teaching, because I do teach this class. It is part of the requirement for me, and this is my own standard, as well as, of course, I have to take it to remain what you call in compliance with the Realtor Association. So I really like doing the professional standards workshop because there are speakers from national level, national level code of ethics speakers, professional standard speakers that are coming out. And I always enjoy it. I always get something out of it. And it also helps me as an instructor to be, you know, to also have to take the class and to also, you know, see how other people present and some of the, the hot buttons that they talk about nationwide. So that's my day. I think that's going to run till two ish then I have a, a committee meeting right afterwards and then I'll probably head into London Derry so we'll see the afternoon's going to be hectic hey guys I thought I'd come back really quick before I stripped everything off and hopped in the shower I wanted to share with you and I've shown some of this on my Instagram page but I wanted to share with you this palette that I received from the Octoly Network. This was from Velvet59, and this was something I selected. And if you don't know how the Octoly Network works, you can select a product that you're very interested in reviewing. It doesn't mean that the manufacturer or the product uh, company will approve you, but you can keep your fingers crossed. So I did select this because, you know, I've been on an eyeshadow kick, right? But I just thought these colors were amazing. Aren't those beauteous? I think they're absolutely beautiful. And when I read about this palette, I'm going to use this. When I read about this palette, it said that it was vegan. It was cruelty-free, gluten-free, paraben-free, talic-free. And that it's a rose metal palette velvet-like formula for maximum blendability. You can do a really nice cut crease. You can also use some of this as a highlighter and even a little bit of a blush. I did swatch some of this, but it kind of rubbed off before I got a chance to show you. So I will do that in another review. But I wanted to show you how it held up. I used my Bare Minerals this morning. I put them all over my eyes. I thought, hmm, I went back and I looked and I said, let's see. I had a few minutes before I had to go out the door, so I thought I would open this up and I would uh, play with it. So I used this lighter shade right here, the purple shade, and I did that to kind of like the crease area. Then I went into my outer V with this darker shade 
and then just right on the outer edge of it with the moonlight shade. So let me just tell you the colors. So the color that I did my crease was Parisian pink and then I did metallic rose on the outer edge and darkened around the crease and then I did moon landing a very very tiny bit on the edge and then of course I used my eye liner but and then I took oh yeah I did I took this little pop of passion flower <laughs> that name a little pop of passion flower and I put that right in the center only because I usually kind of like a little pop of something so this palette I have only tried those four colors that I just identified I haven't tried them all yet but this palette is look at moon landing I'm gonna swatch this for you I just think this is like really cool I don't know if you can see that and then the the metallic rose color put right next to it I think they're pretty and then I I'm gonna run out of fingers I don't know how people do this when they do when they swatch all the colors can you see those I really like those colors and then I probably gonna see if I can get this orangey color here it's more of a golder color but anyways, I'll probably swatch all these colors at another time, but just before I stripped everything off, I thought it'd be kind of cool to show you. Whoops. <laughs> I'll have to make sure I look at this carefully when I edit. Um, just to, uh, to see how it ended up, you know, I wanted you to see how it ended up looking at the end of the day. So the only thing I did when I came home, when I decided I was going to go on camera, and I know I look a fright, is I touched up my veins and this is usually what I carry in my pocketbook I got this at Ulta I've had this I don't know I probably I probably had this for about two years you can see how much is still in there this I just carry around for that you know when I have to <laughs> top off my veins because my veins are so awful and then I also touched up my lipstick only because I figured if I was gonna go on camera, I didn't wanna look like I had no lipstick on. So my hair is a mess. I'm getting ready to brush it all out. I'm getting ready to hop in the shower. And I wanted to show you my eye look. And I also wanted to tell you that it really lasted all day. It lasted a long time on me. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. So yesterday it was nearly 70 degrees in New Hampshire and today it's snowing. I drove home in snow and it's about 30 degrees out right now. I keep trying to think spring. Think spring, think spring. Oh well. We're actually heading to the Merrimack outlets because Jay needs a pair of shoes and he wants to go to the Bass outlet. And while we're there, I just have to, you know, I just have to check out the cosmetic company store and the Bare Minerals store I and, don't think so. and the Swart, I know I'm saying this wrong, the crystals, the where I buy my crystal earrings, the Swartzy store. I'm ignoring what he's hollering because he knows nothing. Jon Snow. <laughs> that's, that's just an old little thing that Jay and I do every time I, you know, because we used to watch, um, Game of Thrones and I always loved it when they would say you know nothing when whoever it was that said you know nothing Jon Snow so I would say that to Jay I go you know nothing sometimes I go Jay McGillicuddy sometimes I call him Jon Snow so he knows nothing but I am going to hit those stores and he has nothing to say about it and then when we're done that we're going to go to Sam's oh well happy Saturday <laughs> And I wanted to show you this, and I forgot. I know I shared this on Instagram. And the, it's a little big, so Jay has to remove one of the, um, the little links. Hey, guys, if you've made it all the way to the end, I just want to really thank you. I know sometimes vlogs can be longer than normal videos, and some people like that, and some people don't like that. And I always feel a little kind of weird because I don't have a super exciting life. But... I share little bits and pieces of it with you. Now, 
next week, this is going to come up this week, so the following Saturday or Sunday, whatever day it goes up, it's all going to be about my eyelash journey. Many of you have asked questions since I shared the eyelash collab with Carol from The O'Carroll Show. And so I have been documenting my eyelash progress from the get-go, from when I first began with eyelash serums in 2016. So I'm going to show you some of those photos. So be sure you catch that video. And I hope you all had a wonderful week. Thank you so much. Sorry this is long. Sorry it's rambling. And now it is Sunday and I'm going what live. I'm going live with Glitzy Fritzy. By the time you see this, that'll already have happened. I hope, I hope I don't look ridiculous in whatever makeup look people are going to make me do. <laughs> but I probably will. But I'll link that live video down below. Anyways, bye guys. <laughs> Yeah, so this is what happens when you kind of go crazy on a live stream and you let your subscribers and your friends tell you how to apply your makeup. I don't think I'm ready to go out like this. No way.